Thanks, Paige and Nolan. I'm Rachel Baranowski here at the University of Tampa Spartan Club with Matt Rickman. Matt, I know that you said that you wanted to start the pool and poker tournaments. How long have you been thinking about doing this for? Well, uh, it came to me in October. Uh, I was looking at all the different spaces in the Vaughn Center and it just kind of hit me that no one really uses this space. It's kind of unknown to a lot of the student body. So I just kind of want to get it out there and get people to know about it and start using it. I didn't notice on the flyers that you did have an email address so people can contact you to participate. Do you know how many people have contacted you so far? Uh, so far there's been about two or three. Um, you know, the flyers just went up last week and we put an event on Facebook. So there's been a few people that contacted me to get more information. But, uh, you know, it's not really enough to start the tournament yet. So hopefully, you know, more people sign up and let me know and so we get something started. Okay, and your end goal for the poker and pool tournaments would be to renovate this area. What would you like to see in renovations? Yeah, so, you know, my goal with this is to get Spartan Club to be used, um, you know, get some new TVs because these TVs are pretty old, a new speaker system because these speakers don't work anymore, they blew last semester. Um, and just to, you know, even if we can't get new games to get them refurbished this way, they could be used and it's not, you know, today they work, tomorrow they don't. So, you know, just to update it and so people could use it. Okay, thanks, Matt. And if you have any further questions, look for Matt Rickman and his flyers here at the University of Tampa Vaughn Center Spartan Club. Back to you, Paige and Nolan. Well, that certainly doesn't seem interesting at all. Everyone should stay away so I can walk away with all the prizes. Is that a challenge you're issuing, Nolan? No, I just want to win, and I don't think I could actually beat anyone. So stay away from the game room. All right, then. While you could get food downstairs at Spartan Club, you can always cook in your room. Andrew has our cooking segment of the week. Over to you, Andrew. Oh, hey, guys. I, I didn't notice you there. Um, yeah, today I'm here to um, do some college cooking. I've got my old friend, my jar, right here. Oh gosh, uh, help me out. So today, um, yeah, today we're cooking the French toast dogs, which I believe is southern, because I'm from the south. Oh, is that? Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's southern. Or at least, I don't know, I made it up. So, it's really easy. You need eggs, because they're French toast. Buns, because it's generally what you have with hot dogs. Um... Hot dogs, that's important. Syrup is also a good condiment. Um, out of most of the condiments, I enjoy syrup the most, in fact, because it is very sweet. The only thing that sucks about syrup, which I fucking hate, is that it gets sticky. And I hate when you get, like, some someone doesn't close the syrup bottle right and it gets all sticky all over the. And whatever, but yeah, but, um. Let's get cooking. Can you scramble eggs inside the shell? Like, can you... If I shake these, will they come out scram... I don't think they'll come out scram. It is totally apple juice. I did not make this myself. It is not redneck as shit. Because I like to have redneck stuff. Because I'm from the south. And I miss my home. And that's kind of depressing because I'm drinking alone. I like eggs a lot. They're um good for you. They come from chickens. Um, you make a lot of stuff with eggs. I don't know if you knew that, but they're very good, very nutritious. You take this. You see the you, eggs. You see like, there are three eggs in there. Three, three, three eggs. Um, see the shell. You see the shell. Almost got that in the eggs. That would not have been good because that would have been unpleasant for me because I have to eat this stuff. 
Um, no matter how bad it comes out, because this is college cooking. Hey. One sec. I might need to get another jar. I've got backups just in case. And don't you worry. We'll get through this together. These are bad. I was supposed to eat these 10 days ago. Eggs. It's time for the eggs. One sec. Oh geez, that was too much. Um, those are good for dipping. You get your scissors. They're totally sanitary, and I do not use these to open every freaking package and do not clean them. And <laughs> one sec. It is nice to meet you. Um, this is uh, college cooking. By the way, just to let you know, Nolan Page, I hate your jobs. Yeah. Last week, we asked for you all to send in pictures of costumes of you and your friends. And here's the winner. It's also the only picture anyone submitted. Good for you! This week, we want to know who will be participating in No Shave November to spread awareness for the fight against prostate cancer. Twit pick your beards to us. Have you ever seen the movie The Day After Tomorrow? Well, don't bother. Just go up north and you can see life imitating art. But in all seriousness, we hope that all of your friends and families are safe and unharmed. In entertainment news, Disney recently bought Lucasfilm and the Star Wars franchise for $4 billion. Episode 7 is slated for release in 2015. Rumors have stated that it will be produced by Michael Bay, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and Johnny Depp will be starting as everyone. Tim Burton will also be on as a consultant to the film. That's it for this week. I'm Nolan Tajian. And I'm Paige Daly. May the Force be with you when you wish upon a star. Salsa Ricos, right? You wait in line for your burrito, whatnot, whatever. Then you roll up to the end of the line and you find out there's no sour cream. What's your first reaction? Cry. Salsa Ricos, not.